In this example, we'll create the formulas necessary to add functionality to this invoice form. We'll first of all create a formula to calculate the line total. We can then copy this formula into the adjacent cells. Next we'll need a formula which will return the total of all the line totals, giving us the subtotal. Then we'll need a formula for calculating value-added tax. And then we'll need a formula to calculate the final total. The line total formula does not require a function. We simply need to multiply the quantity by the unit price. As always we begin by typing an equal sign. Click on the cell that will contain the first value. Excel then enters the reference of that cell. Now we need multiply which is asterisk shift 8. Then we click on the cell that contains the second value. Next we enter the formula and since both of the cells that we're multiplying are blank, Excel gives us a zero. Excel allows us to hide zero values of this type. To do this, click on the Office button and choose Excel Options. Click on the Advanced tab on the left of the screen and then scroll down to the option which reads Display Options for this worksheet. Here you'll find the option show a zero in cells that have zero value. To suppress the zero value you simply deactivate this option. The zero returned by our formula now disappears. We can now copy the formula by dragging the autofill handle. You'll notice that when you copy the formula Excel intelligently alters the references of the cells calculated. Although we can calculate the subtotal with simple arithmetic cell 1 plus cell 2 plus cell 3 the sum function is far more efficient. Instead of using the auto sum tool let's enter the function manually. We type equals sum open brackets and then we enter a cell reference or simply drag across the appropriate cells. Excel picks up the reference and we can then enter without even typing the closing parenthesis. Again we get a zero value hence the cell remains blank. To calculate value-added tax we simply multiply the subtotal by 17 and a half percent. This can be entered in two ways. Obviously we start with the equal sign then we can click on the cell that contains the subtotal Next multiply which is asterisk shift 8 and now we enter 17.5% either as a decimal or a 17.5% so we can do this or this and then we enter the formula. Finally the total is simply subtotal plus VAT equals, click on the cell containing the subtotal, plus, and click on the cell containing VAT. We enter the formula, and now we can test our invoice form. Let's enter a quantity of 2 and a unit price of 50. This gives us a line total of 100, our value added tax is 17.5%, and our total 117.5 so everything seems to be working. Let's enter a second line and everything seems fine. The final thing we'll do is to format those cells which contain prices to display two decimals. We drag across all the appropriate cells to highlight them using the control key where necessary and then we click on the launch button in the general section of the home tab. Here we click on number, two decimal places is the default which is exactly what we need and we'll also activate the option use thousand separator to make long numbers easier to read. We can now delete our test values and our invoice is ready for use.
so we can now save it.